And this is the saddle. This is an ML7 saddle. And as you can see, or will see, it's not much worn. I can run it into the reference area here and also up here and around all four corners zero and down it's about one to two hundredths of a millimeter wear practically zero there running it around on the other side we have also practically zero and the same on this take first the reference there then we'll over and uh, also just one about one hundred square so practically zero and this is also like you can feel it's not anything worn so uh, yeah great and this is an old ml7 saddle i mean it's in super shape really um, uh, to the point that uh, well it's in super shape and uh, the above here is not the top is not worn at all you measure the same mm. you can still see some scraping marks here perhaps it's some thousands of millimeters worn but here the scraping marks are uh, well a little bit worn off but not much it's a lightly used saddle the vertical surface on the saddle was also scraped for oil pockets. It was flat as it should be, so no need for alignment really. And the same uh, with the, on the side of the table. It was uh, well, almost flat, a little bit of scraping there, just a few cycles, but then also for oil pockets. And this is one way to prove that uh, the saddle, uh, no, sorry, the, the cross slide moves perpendicular to the, to the bed uh, without having to mount or having the headstock mounted and uh, doing the faceplate uh, method. So I have um, <clears throat> just um, uh, tightened down a um, an precision angle here. So I will measure along the length of that. With the indicator here zeroed at the far let's say the far um, end of the travel that way and i go i move it that way i could of course mount it a little bit longer in maybe that's to get a little bit extended travel and this is a uh, the long stroke ml7 saddle um, so this guy that owns this ml7 has two saddles two sorry two cross slides some in one long and one short i just snug down the saddle so i tucked it firmly and this is a narrow guide so tucked it firmly to the inside there and since the bed was not much worn a little bit on top and the saddle not much worn i don't expect this to be uh, much worn hence i don't expect to get much deviation from flatness and if you if we zoom in, here, we should be able to see while I'm traveling the, this along the length. You can see the indicators there is put.
So this is pretty Pretty darn flat, I would say. Nothing to do, just scrape and mark out the the, the bottom of the um, of the cross slide a little bit. This is all also virgin, so very nice example. I guess it has enough points now, so uh, just to move on, we can also work a little bit more. This is pull scraped, for those of you that would want to know. And we've shown this before in the video about the 2014 Norwegian scraping class. So um, I will give a link to that also. Just to show you that this is how I learned it as a way to minimize the scraping necessary. And I already scraped and bent a number of times and this is of course to get it as flat as possible here. Right. It hinges still on one area here but yeah well it starts to stick. And then of course you have to press down on where it sticks so that you don't accidentally blew up the whole surface and uh, now I see that it's becoming really good in comparison to what it was it's still an area here which is shy but it comes in all over and the same on the other side which might not be that important but it's a verification I see bluing all over uh, along the length of the piece and this begun as a piece being bent up like this so it only touched in the middle so it spun spun around here really bad so uh, and you can then ask why this is so important it'll be bent in place anyway and it'll be bent to a surface that is um, trued up meaning the the ways on the bed on the lathe but still how do you know that it is contact all over and how do you know it's that you can uh, screw this in and and uh, get the contact you want you don't know really until you prove it here and the best way to do uh, get it uh, is to get it flat and to prove it on the surface plate